Swiss prosecutors have opened criminal proceedings into FIFA's awarding of the 2018 and 2022 World Cups, hours after seven soccer officials, including two FIFA vice presidents, were arrested in a separate probe of corruption. In short, these individuals, through these organizations, engaged in bribery to decide who would televise games, where the games would be held, and who would run the organization overseeing organized soccer worldwide. A total of 14 people were indicted in the U.S. for corruption, including the seven that were arrested after a raid at a Swiss luxury hotel. The game, according to the allegations in this indictment, was hijacked. That field that is so famously flat was made tilted in favor of those who were looking to gain at the expense of countries and kids who were enjoying the game of soccer. A small group of agents from the FBI and IRS also executed search warrants at the headquarters of CONCACAF, which oversees North and South American, along with Caribbean soccer in Miami Beach. This really is the World Cup of fraud, and today we are issuing FIFA a red card. The Swiss Justice Ministry said six of the seven officials arrested oppose extradition to the United States. U.S. authorities now have 40 days to submit the formal extradition request. Despite both the U.S. and Swiss investigations, FIFA's presidential election will go ahead as planned on Friday, with Seth Blatter going for a fifth term. Here's the president, here's the president, here's the president, and in two days there are election. If the 209 members of the association, they will re-elect him, then he is the president for the next four years. FIFA also ruled out a re-vote of the World Cups won by Russia in 2018 and Qatar in 2022. Bob McCall, Associated Press.